Guys, help me. I don't know. The dropper isn't... Weird. Here, let's own a bunch of items. Well, that worked. That should, on its downfall, release every minecart. Okay, so now those are going to go ahead and scoop up every item, and then it'll come back. That was a little bit rough. I'm sorry. And we're going to waste a lot of fuel here because I didn't throw in nearly enough items to keep it kind of productive. However, you can see in these minecarts already, yeah, we just cooked a lot more fuel than we used. So, this is going to be making a profit in no time. <laughs> Good news. One last thing, I just wanted to show this. So, all the items <laughs> are just going to be thrown out in the ground. I'll pick those out and pick those up and distribute them, but yay. In case anybody was curious, there's a torch under here, so I wasn't actually triggering the dropper. Whoops. All right, we came up with a better idea. So I already put in um, two stacks of charcoal in each of the furnaces, and the server lag is killing me. Uh, we haven't restarted because a couple people are AFK. Actually, I don't know where Ina is. Maybe he's causing lag. However, the idea that I had was we're going to... It would probably be smart for us to fill this thing up, fill every furnace with wood before, you know, filling it with fuel. That way they're already kind of loaded, but... It doesn't really matter. Oh, the server leg. <laughs> I just wanted to have this open while it caught up. That is real time. This unloads at 160 items per second. So that should be distributing items. And I'm just going to keep throwing in wood because we need a lot of it. I am back from dinner. This is the charcoal situation. Uh, going pretty well. Wise ass set up a nice little system that is half as fast as it needs to be. And uh, we're cooking wood still. So, yeah, really not that interesting. So, actually, I could show this. It's pretty cool. So I hooked up the, the charcoal thing to a hopper synchronizer. So to fill it, we just toss all of them in here. And then they'll fill up every single hopper. And when, do they, get, when they get to the last one, it'll fill up and begin unloading all of the other ones. So they're all synced up. That way, each minecart in the system gets the exact same amount of fuel, and all of this charcoal is then going to come down into these chests, which are immediately sucked out by the minecart, or it just stocks up in the chest while they're not here. And that's how we refill the furnace array. Um, on the last roll, we used blaze rods, and this was set up <clears throat> automatically to be refilled by blaze rods coming from the skeleton farm. We did some chunk loading. It was pretty cool, but yeah, so uh, this is what we have now, of course, because this is temporary. So... We're going to continue... I assume you cleaned out all the furnaces, Daniel? Not yet. Great. Okay. So, yeah, all the on the, all the stuff's coming out into here. And then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and actually cook stuff that we need. Cough, cough, clay. But first we need a lot of fuel. So I'm just filling this thing up, like, max capacity right now with all these shulker boxes that were full of jungle. I'm going to actually turn down this block noise. This is probably a little late. So, uh, people have asked me for, like, how can I add more chests to this design and, like, more storage, and this is kind of my response to that. I really don't think you need it. I mean, this is unloading at 160 per second, and sure, it's going to back up eventually, but this thing's unloading at 80 items per second, which is over a stack per second. And sure, in the long run, you could overflow it, but, I mean, this should be completely fast enough. I'm going to hop into spectators to watch it run. Uh, yeah, Daniel didn't get every furnace. I'll get those, no problem. But uh, the fuel back here is getting filled by Daniel, and he should slow down if he's wise. <laughs> That's going to be a little too much, but yeah, it looks like they're backing up into the furnaces. That's good. These need a lot more fuel, but we got dark oak and jungle back here. So that's all getting cooked into charcoal coming out over here and I just think it's pretty cool to see this thing running at full speed um, yeah that's kind of all for now I just thought it was pretty nice cool idea for ya so uh, with a hopper fa I can't actually show it from here with a hopper facing sideways and into a thing it can actually unload at twice as fast because there will be another hopper sucking from it so this is filling in this one and this one so just what is this eight hoppers in a row can handle sixteen thousand items per hour no, 16 hoppers worth. Daniel's just speeding it up. 
Uh, I had the idea to put these all into shulker boxes so that we can easily take them out of here and refill the furnace array. It's going to have to be manual for now. kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. I'm going to take out those uh, because these are my sorter items. So uh, that's just it. We're just using shulker boxes. And then we'll be refilling this, and then I'll, the next cut, unless something interesting happens, should be clay. And it's the big moment. So I've taken about an hour or so off camera, loading up those minecarts back there with lots and lots of charcoal. This probably won't look like much, but each of these have about 38 to 64. Towards the back there's more, and that's just because of the way the minecarts work. But this thing is stocked. 38 uh, charcoal in each should be absolutely plenty. I've got a bunch of shulker boxes around the edge here full of clay. By, the, by no means is this all of it. I've switched out the shulker boxes with chests. I will be crafting the bricks into... I should probably get one click crafting, huh? Okay, I'll be crafting the bricks into blocks as they're being produced. But let's start. I'm really excited to actually start mining all the... Er, mining. Cooking all this clay because it's like... All day I've been cooking charcoal, which is really just getting fuel. I mean, just completely decimating our wood. Off camera, I don't know that I really showed this too well or even mentioned it, but I just cooked a an inventory full of shulker boxes full of dark oak. So, yeah. Can you stop typing, Daniel? So, yeah, I just did that. And uh, that's, that's why we got all the charcoal. I moved all of it from there over there, and now we'll be falling down and not filling up with more clay. So yeah, this is actually kind of coming back to my future, my earlier argument about not really needing that much storage for this thing. I mean, you see how many shulker boxes I've got over here. It's kind of a lot, and this thing is keeping up with me no problem. Um, it's unloading at something like two stacks a second. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's really no problem. It's a little bit of maintenance, but I think it's just fine. And um, yeah, just while this is cooking real quick, uh, I actually designed this 32 output for the furnace array long long time ago I think even before it was in my early channel days when I started designing these things um, I designed the 32 output because I was working on a furnace array that was going to be 1280 furnaces but then I realized that 800 would be nicer because this thing unloads at 80 items per second which is kind of perfect and now you can see the clay bricks are getting well not even unloaded because these minecarts are stuck I need to hit that button, so let's hop into survival mode and pillar up somehow. Can I just like, I gotta get creative. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This is it. Got it. All right, so that's gonna trigger the uh, the minecarts. They're gonna go underneath, pick up all the clay, which was actually not being scooped up. This system's flawed. I mean, I've mentioned several times that we're trying to design a better one. We just need something that works and that we can build today. And that's what we've done. Even though we didn't really build the whole thing today. Alright, the bricks are coming in. Unbeknownst to me, the minecarts had already come in. And uh, this is how the system works, actually. It unloads the minecarts really, really fast with more minecarts. It just sucks the items out. And then while those are picking up more items, this unloads them. So here you go, you get a lot of items coming in, and we're running at, yeah, 18 TPS. It slows down with all the people online, and so much going on, but this is awesome. We're getting clay. Ah! So I don't really know that I want to show too much of this working, because you guys kind of get the point now. I mean, they just, it cooks the items, as a furnace array should. Pardon the background noise if you can hear it. Uh, I'm going to look, I'm going to just smelt all the clay we have, and then kind of show that as one last overview. Glory, how many how many yes. times do you think you've played Minecraft in your life? Uh, four years. What? You've played it that four times for like Minecraft what? Four Minecraft. one year. Four sessions, years. Or... Probably more than a thousand actually. More than a thousand. How many rage quits? <laughs> one or two. <laughs> All right, what were they? Excuse me? What were they? What caused them? They weren't really like rage quits, but I just fell in the never lava. <laughs> That'll do it. So they were rage quits. Alright, what's your in-game name? Alright, Glory, welcome to Minerva. The IP is in the information channel. So that's two new members in this video. Kind of. 
Even though Eno is already. Who is the second one? Glory! You're talking to him. <laughs> Who is the first one? Ina! Uh, he's a French guy who speaks French sometimes when he's around French people who also speak French. As far as the video goes, uh, lot of, lots of bricks so far. Uh, we'll update you when he logs in. All that clay I just threw in, it's already cooked. That took like, no, that took like 10 minutes. What the hell? He logged in, let's go greet him! I love Elytras. Oh, I was trying. You, you've done it! Is this your main account? Uh, no. Oh. I don't have my password for my main right now. Unbelievable! You were about to do it! The very first Minerva member to log in with the, with the default skin. Well put. I was just fighting over this number one on time blade over the past few days. <laughs> because he tries to FK a lot more than I am, just to like beat me. I think it's this is the first world slash server I've ever hosted where I wasn't the top of the time plate. And usually it's by significant amounts. Like I'll be thirty or forty million and next on the list will be like viral at twenty or thirty K. Or twenty or thirty million as well. Yeah. And right now yeah, I'm not even <laughs> For the video, these guys AFK way more than I do, and Crime Lord also has a lot more free time. <laughs> so, yeah. Crime Lord's Russian, so like he just woke up. So if you can hear his morning voice, he just woke up. For me, it is 8:43. I'm heading to bed soon. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna actually end the video here. So uh, Wise Ass brought over some clay, so we actually came out to one brick. But all of these shulker boxes full, plus these bricks is the hall so far. Remember we need 54 shulker boxes full of bricks. So we have eight. We're one six point seventy fifth of the way there. So or yeah, whatever. Uh, all right. Well I hope you enjoyed this video of a temporary eight hundred furnace smelting array. I reckon this will be up until one of two things. Uh, one, we smelt all the clay that we need, all one hundred thousand bricks. Or two we build a better furnace array, tear this thing down, and make that. But, uh, it did... Probably Shut up, cat. Shut up. Can you hear him? Right. Yep. Let me end the video. And then I'll let you outside or whatever you want. So, yep, that's the end of this. That's how much clay we got. All these chests are empty. He is tickling my legs. And, uh, the cat. And, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> let's record an epilogue after my official finish. Uh, so let's actually tear down what we've got here. <laughs> And, uh, so this is all the clay that Smokey actually got. He mined 5,000 clay while we were building that furnace array and cooking other clay. Um, I also found, what was it, three shulker boxes full of bricks in the ruby center that I had completely forgotten about. That was cooked by the other furnace array, the smaller one, over a lot more time. So our numbers are about to get skewed here, seeing as we're mining this clay twice, but that's okay. It's really not a big deal. And then, um... Yeah, we're gonna take this and cook it. Do you have a shovel with that doesn't have salt touch? No, this is my only one. I only made one shovel. Alright, I'm getting, um... I didn't actually conclude that clip. Shit. So yeah, that's just a quick little epilogue. Just hang out with Smokey after the fact, and um, we got more clay than shown in the video. So I just wanted to include this. So you aim at like uh, bedrock or something. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, and then place like four of them like in an L shape, kind of oh. like where you'd be aiming here. <laughs> Perfect. Just yeah. do that. There we go. That's the way to break down clay. <laughs> okay, now I need... Uh, yeah, you might want to just get a bunch on your hotbar and go from there. The easiest thing is just stand up here. Place it in an L. Place it like this. Oh, okay. And then I'll get the same view. Okay. There we go. Yay, breaking down clay. Alright, one more extra epilogue moment. 
This RIP black sheep is from the very first day of the server. No, leave it alone, leave it alone. And nobody until now has ever actually messed with it. <laughs> but as far as the video goes, I just found Ina and Creeper playing chess with Smokey on a skeleton horse. And this is the new clay count. Thanks to Smokey's Hall, we are actually considerably further along than we were before. So, nice job. I mean, like, if we need this whole double chest full, we're actually like, this is decent progress for, like, essentially one or two sessions full of a lot of people working together. But I'm not sure if I'll make any more videos on it. I mean, probably. But um, we'll definitely be mining a lot of clay in the free time. Like, I'll just send a blast right after recording this to all the members that if they need something to do, mining clay is definitely the thing right now. All right, now it's the real end of the video with Smokey trying to horse me in the face. Hey, man, we don't want horseplay around here. <laughs> Actually, all these all these animals around here, I mentioned this in past videos. This is the only grass in the spawn chunk, so this stuff spawned naturally. Uh, oh, gee. Oh, my God. I didn't want to hit him because there's a horse there. You know what? Just going to leave him alone. <laughs> Thanks for watching.